Hello and welcome to This Week in Property. I'm your host Richard Swan and in today's show we are turning on the spotlight again, the Property Pros Spotlight. And what we're doing is we're actually bringing a gentleman in who's been in the spotlight previously. Uh, it was a good while ago and the reason for bringing him back is, my goodness, things have ramped up for him. So that's great to tie in with, you know, meet the people who are in the trenches, doing the deals, finding things that are going on, helping other people, you know, making their their business prosper. But see, how how is that journey going? You know, what happens when it goes a bit crazy? What happens when you're trying to juggle so many projects and so many deals? And of course, it gives you, the listener, the viewer, an insight into that because you might be listening from, a, you know, a corporate job and you're, you're fascinated by this property idea. Uh, so you can hear it from the horse's mouth, as they say. Or in this case, it's actually royalty's mouth because we lovingly call him the Prince of Fife, don't we, Jay? The famous Jay Turner. Welcome yes, back. I do. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great to me. see you. Yeah. Yes, the Prince of Fife, because you do so many flaming deals up there. You're just carving up the empire, the whole kingdom, as we as we call yeah. it in Scotland. Uh, so it's great to have you back. And we want to hear that journey. We want to hear what's going <clears> on. <throat> because hearing someone's story, you know, how they've kind of found their own entrance into the world, how they see things changing, uh, your opinions and ideas about the market, uh, some of the deals you're working on, we'll maybe get into some of the numbers and stuff, because that'll help the people who are listening in just understand what's possible, you know? Yep. So for yourself, let's do a wee retake, uh, because it is a good wee while ago since we had you on. How did the actual journey start? You know, did we jump out of school and just go straight into the construction business? Were we in something completely different and then we had a left field change? What's the J story? Yeah, um, so leaving school, um, I, I got an apprenticeship. Right. So property was never ever my intention, my journey. Not at all? Not at all. Right. Um, I didn't know. Who does know? Exactly. Um, as a school goer. Um, so yeah, so left school and does what everybody else done um, or do when they leave school is, is you know, sent out a million, maybe two million CVs. <laughs> just um, scarred them yeah. everywhere. <laughs> Anywhere. Engineering companies, joinery, you know, plumbing, just anything. Right. You know, wanted a job. I wanted a way to school. I didn't like the academical. Right. So that was clear. Thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. And I still don't. Um, okay. So, so yeah. So I ended up with a job, um, an apprenticeship. I was an apprentice engineer. Mm -hmm which I was grateful for at the time. Um, it, it gave me a good start. It was a good paying job for, for, a, young, for a young late teenager. You know, I was 17, 18 when I got that job mm -hmm. and uh, I'd done that for seven years. Right. God, that's um, a fair stretch, actually. Aye. aye. Um, so, you know, every day of that seven years, I knew I didn't want to be there. <laughs> I, I, I was that's in a, a long seven years. Aye. Eh? <laughs> um, but I was, getting, I was getting a good wage, like I say. Um, so I was standing at a machine every day for seven years and, and I just knew I could have... Uh, done more. Mm. Um, so, so, so nearing the end of that seven years, I got my, it was time to leave home, you know, um, right. fly the nest. So right. I got myself a, a flat and it was just before the crash. Again, ah. we, we didn't know that at that time. Yep. But um, I bought a flat um, to live in, but me being me, I wanted it all perfect. So we ended up, you know, ripping it to bits, like proper back to brick. Really? Yep. And, wow. then, and then went, you know, full, full hog with it all. And then, um, so everything was finished, and I looked at the bank balance, and I was like, <laughs> I can't afford to live here anymore. Um, what am I going to do? So um, a girl I knew uh, lived a few doors along, and she obviously seen the progress and wanted to, wanted to live there, wanted to rent it. So, ah. so, so um, she moved in, and I went back home with my tail wow, between my legs, um, kind of thing. So, so um, straight away we're an accidental landlord. That it just Aye. all came together like that. That's amazing. Yep. Yep. That's a kind of common story for a lot of people in property. Yeah. You know, some some accidental story. Or, oh no, I went to you know university. I had my own flat, and so when I left it, I just rented out something like that. So that, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So so that was that. Um, so as an yes, yeah, so I was an engineer at, at that point, and and it come to the downturn of the market and, right. and you know property, but it was also industry and stuff like that as well. Yes, I, so, that's true. So um, I noticed went around the work, um, you know voluntary redundancy was required by oh, a few individuals right. and I kind of took that opportunity to, to hand my notice in right. and, and, and force myself into a change. Wow. Um, so I did and I left and I wanted to be a fireman, like I always wanted to be a fireman. Um, <laughs> that was, you know, from back watching London's burning as a kid. Oh, um, no I was, way. You know, that was kind of always in the back of my mind, that was what I wanted to do. Brilliant. Um, so, yeah, so I took the opportunity to to apply for the fire service, right? Um, which I did, and that was a, about a four or a five month process. 
Right. Two and a half thousand people applied for 20 jobs. <laughs> I got down to the last 30. Wow. Got, got, a, got an interview, and uh, but didn't get in. So right. it was like eight from reserve or something, they told me. Right. The following week, I saw an ad in the paper, the firefighting, firefighter recruitment. So I phoned up and I was like, I'm eight from reserve. Wait what, a minute. Why, what, why have I got to go through this whole four or five month process again? It's, yeah. it's, just, it's just what it is. Right. So um, I was also watching Ross Kemp in Afghanistan on Sky One. <laughs> oh, at wait. This time. <laughs> right. right. I'm seeing so, a pattern so here. We need to keep you away from the television. Uh, so, <laughs> so I saw uh, the Game of Thrones <laughs> and I thought, I'll get a castle. <laughs> Right, so Ross came. Um, yeah, so I thought, you know, I kind of like what I like, I like the action. I like, you know, maybe that's what I need. Maybe right. I need to, to to get involved in the military somehow. So, um, went up to Dundee AFCO, um, walked in. You know, the the Air Force representative was the first guy that, that approached me. Right. Um, sat a big test with them, and uh, you know, passed. You know, I was in the top percentage of um, pass marks, and then he was like, right, so you qualify for these three jobs. Right. Um, and one of them was the intelligence trade. So I was like, okay, so what's that? Um, TV again, here we go. So James Bond was James my Bond hero. James Bond came on. Aye, James, no, James Bond was my hero when I was a kid. So I liked all the James Bond movies. So I thought, intelligence, of course, of course I'm a James Bond at heart. So um, let's go with that. Can you tell me a bit about it? A bit about it? Um, no, no because no one knows. <laughs> so I was like, right. So um, yeah, okay, put me in for that. A week later, I got um, a flight flight tickets through the post, right. fly me down to London right. to do um, another four day of testing down there in a secret bunker somewhere. Oh, um, I like this. So done that, there was 30 of us there and two of us got through, two of us passed it. So wow. done that four days up the road. Um, You're good at these tests. The tests are you? good, aye. <laughs> aye good at this. It's the afterward, <laughs> I kind of lose interest quickly. Um, so yeah, two weeks later I was back down to do a, a preliminary basic training. Right. Two weeks later again, that was me in. So just like that, before wow. I'd even really settled in and made the decision, you know, they got me, they, were, they had me right down. You just fast-tracked. Aye, right in. Love it. So that was the next four or five years of my life, um, an intelligence analyst in the Air Force. Wow. Um, which was pretty good. Right, but you can't talk about it. You need to kill me. <laughs> Aye, still signed up for <laughs> secrecy. Um, so, yeah. Within that four or five year period, I actually bought a second property back home. Right, um, okay. I better not say this too loud, but um, when you're in the military, you get travel home pay mm -hmm. in addition to your wage. Ah, so right. I thought, okay, so there's an extra wee bit of money I could make. So I got another flat yeah, cool. um, and rented it to my friends. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then there's two rented and out. And you're still managing the first one yourself. Yes. Yeah, you're still yes. doing that. Now you're a letting agent for this one. Is it okay? Yeah, Landlord, yeah. everything okay? It was people I knew well, so it ah, wasn't so it kind of worked quite nice. involved. Yeah, yeah um, that's good. Yeah, and then so um, the four or five year career went good in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. Come out of the Air Force uh, due to, so I joined up at 24, right. which was, I was older. Right. There was a lot of younger people around me. Mm -hmm. And I think I was already established as a, as a bit of a, you know, a man and to go in and trying to accustom to that lifestyle and stuff uh, probably was, was a bit more difficult than it would have been if I joined up when I was 16 or 18. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I made the decision at the four stroke five year point to, to, to again to, to come out because there was a break in the contract where you could leave there. Mm -hmm. um, um, and apparently it was meant to be a year's notice. <laughs> Three weeks later I was out. So I thought, <laughs> oh, right, I'll what? put my notice in and then I've right, got a year to wait. find a job or decide what I want to do with my life. Three weeks later, Thanks. See you later. Here's your box. Like, oh. Right. So come out and then, and then from there, that was like, you know, sit down and have a, have a serious think about, you know, what I want to do in my life. Right. Um, and, you know, having done the two properties previously, you know, I thought, you know, it's kind of a good thing there. It's you know, working ah, well. Yeah, it's, you know, yep. um, I see the money coming back in and yeah. it's providing some money into the bank. And so why don't I explore this? Mm -hmm. So, and, you know, within the space, you know, maybe a year or two, I had, you know, I um, had bought another two right, um, jointly with a, a close flam family friend, right. um, one of my dad's friends, I call him a man called, but he's not, but mm -hmm. um, we bought two. Kind of was he already the, in the game himself by that he time? Had, he had two himself. He did? Aye, right. okay. um, accidental landlord, then he got one and then he got <laughs> the two with me because again, it was a it was a shared kind of venture, joint, joint um, thought process. So, That's um, cool. Yeah, and from there, so I done a couple of flips, um, and then added to the portfolio again, 
Brilliant. And then I thought, you know, this is this is kind of what I want to be doing here. Uh-huh. Um, so I actually thought, well, for cash flow, it's not great because some deals come along and some don't. Yep. Um, let's get a job in property. Mm-hmm. So I looked at the, a few of the local estate agents around about to see if I can get a job as an estate agent. But uh-huh. when I was on um, one of the websites, I noticed there was a franchise opportunity. So I thought, hmm, okay. And I had just completed on a flip. There was a bit of money sitting there. Right. Franchise opportunity was pretty much what the profit was. And I thought, this is a sign. It is, you know? it's one of those moments. So let's, uh, let's go down that road. So wow. went down that road with the franchise. That didn't work out as, as good as what it could have. Um, yeah. With a few different things. Um, however, it encouraged me to, to start my own letting agency. Mm-hmm. So I did. And... That was that was that was the next wow. few years of my life. Then you're really into it. Yeah. Yeah, you're in deep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, as well as trying to build my own. Yeah, exactly. Thing. On the side, yeah, you try to build yeah. a business, but you're also trying to build your investment. It's yeah, that whole yeah. with the quadrant, you know, the Robert Kiyosaki quadrant. It's that B and I. You're doing the two. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, what's all entailed in a letting agency did pull most of my attention away yeah. from this side of things. Yeah. Um, and working with you know working with with landlords and tenants both, you know, that, that, that I learned a lot from that. Oh, you um, must, because, yeah, I mean, you know, forget that, oh, it's people I know now and it's pals and all, this is a totally a different ball game, isn't it? And then throw the compliance into the mix, you know, yeah. and the rules and the regs and, yep. you know, the fact that you're acting on a higher level for a landlord to a tenant and, you know. That's you, right. I like to say it's, you're a bit of a social chameleon. Yeah. You need to, it depends, you know, you could be talking to one person on the phone and now hang up and then speak to a completely different person or yeah. you're visiting you're visiting a you know a, a high net worth individual who's got a really good business background on one yeah one hour the next hour you're looking at probably someone who is not so accomplished Aye, or professional family, they're struggling yeah. they're, that's the this so is you need, home you need to adapt all yeah, the time yeah that's a great um, point actually yeah mm-hmm. so so yeah so um we wound that business down last mm-hmm. year Right. Um, due to me kind of wanting to focus on 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 me and on my you. my personal business and and the growth of me and my family and, and stuff like that, right. the lighting agency was good, really good. Aye, um, because I remember at one point because we were chatting kind of personally about things and stuff, you were you were kind of pretty much resolute on that road. No, no, I'm going to dismiss this. But then there was almost a wee sharp turn of actually. Not only am I not going to sell this, I might actually take on a second one Aye. in a whole other area, you yeah. know. And then you, but you you like that, aren't you? You look at opportunities and you kind of weigh them up quite, you know, yeah. calmly, you know. Yeah, yeah. It was the bigger picture, you know. Uh-huh. It was. It was, you know, sell and let go, or or amalgamate and come and and go go bigger, go bigger, which, expand, which and then would have freed up the same amount of time, right? Because um, you know, bigger, more more systems, more staff, you know. So mm-hmm. so the the input from me probably would have been about the same. Um, right. Or I would have still been involved, you know, but mm-hmm. not on, on the level that I was when I was running my own business. Yeah, but and, it was just being madness. the one man put up, you know. Um, Aye, exactly. Yeah. You're, you are learning a ton of stuff, as you said, but you're in that business, not yeah. on the business and so on and so yeah. forth. Yeah. You must have been running And that was the crazy. attraction to the amalgamation, yeah. to work on the business as opposed yeah. to working in it. Exactly. Um, but, um, yeah, we opted for the first. Aye, and, just and stuck just, with that first one. release that and, and, and refocus back on on the journey that, mm-hmm. that I wanted really to be on. Yeah. And I had built up in the background, you know, what I needed to, to be mm-hmm. able to to, to kind of drop drop the, the income wage mm-hmm. and, and still be able to live off the portfolio that, that we had now accumulated. Yeah. Um, so, so at that point, that's me. Although I let an agency as property, it was now, you know, when I let that go, it was now full time and property. It's property. Yeah. End for, of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for you personally. Yeah. I like that. And looking at that, obviously it's a fairly recent decision, but going well to the point that you're happy from all angles, financially, home life, etc. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I kind of live my life by no regrets and probably. all of that. So even if it didn't, Aye. you know, it, it does, you know. Um, I've made the, de- the, the decision to be here, so yeah. Um, yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I like that, that's a good I mindset, I, I've taken this decision here, now we're doing this path. Okay, now that I'm on this path, okay, this is happening, that's happening. Uh, do I want to continue, do I want to change it, whatever, let's make another decision. I, I like that, not stopping or regretting or, or giving up even, that's that's the most people unfortunately do, they'll head down the different path and they're like, ah well, I've blown it, I'm, I'm stuck. 
I'm yeah. in a rut. This is it. This is my life now. I have to carry on. But you don't have that that kind of lookout and things. You're always looking at different opportunities and where you can take control or in the next decision, if you like. Yeah. Tremendous. The impact on the personal side then. So that, that's an interesting one. Let's veer off from the, the business and financial aspect. Kids, you know, etc. Yep. Uh, home life and stuff like that. Hard to juggle? Has it been a kind of tough road to try to do everything that you've done? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, my partner Lauren, she's she's great. She's, mm. she's heavily um, invested in her corporate career. Right. Which is great, which I suppose has also given me a bit of security yeah. to be able to do what I've done. So mm-hmm. fully appreciative of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's positive with its negatives because it allows me to spend a lot more time with the kids um, than I ever had with my dad. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm doing the morning the morning protocol, you know, Brilliant. getting them out of bed and getting them ready, dropping them childcare and dropping at school. Yeah. I'm also there to pick up from childcare as, as well. My so, um, and what age is they now? So, Eva is nearly two. She'll be two right. next month, and <laughs> Eden will be six Brilliant. next month. Nice ages. Yeah. And so. that's that's that critical part. Just talking about the the dad. You're reflecting in your own childhood, etc. And you're able to do that. And you you've got the awareness for that. Is no, no, no. I'm doing this. This is happening. This is a decision. You know, this is this is me. This is my identity. Whatever you want to call it. And it's inside that beautiful period. Of their first seven years of their life, yeah. where everything is there, you know, their their beliefs, their mindset, their their memories, yeah. everything is about pretty powerful. Yeah, I've learned a lot a lot you about know? that recently. The, Have you? The, the first seven year thing. Yeah, and, right. And, it's fascinating. You know, the foundations that that are set within a child that within you know that age. Yeah, is, conscious and subconscious. Yep, yeah, yeah. You know, it's so powerful. Yeah, absolutely. So the yeah. science they're bringing out, and then you find that you know these people who are you know in therapy at fifty four and stuff. It's actually stuff that happened way right back. way back. You know, and yep. they don't realise until someone can help them connect those dots. Mm-hmm. So that's brilliant. You you're able to do that. Can, do you see how do you kind of view them as well with the future from the point of view of the business, property, etc. Do you feel any compulsion about teaching them, training them, keeping their eyes yeah, open? I mean, or? I will never force them into no. it, yeah, but, but I'll take them on the journey as soon as they're able to be. I've already Eden comes on some viewings with Does me he? and stuff, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> like, two wee girls get, I mean, go, going forward, I won't force them into it, but uh, you know, if they want to come along and share the journey, absolutely. Aye, and if she's and enjoying it, you know, yeah. I'm good at my dad, and I'm good yeah, at yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And Lauren's very academical and corporate and stuff, right. whereas I'm. The entrepreneur, the, 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 the business, opposite for that. The, yeah, yeah. So totally. for to have a mix of both, I think would be really good. Yeah. Um, however, the future, you know, it kind of scares me a little bit bringing my girls up into the. Like, who knows what's going to be happening? Eh? So correct. I suppose that's kind of fueling my mission a little bit at the moment. You know, yeah. I need to have do what I can so that they have potentially the security in the future. Right. Um, you know, with regards to jobs and you know, just. Climate, everything. Yeah, that's kind of that's all. That's another day's chat. Aye, right, the, the worries of the father. Eh? It's yeah. just uh, talk about things that keep you awake at night. You know, it's, it's it's not the multi-million pound land deals. <laughs> it's like, what what would I tell her today? And how right. can I bring her up properly? You know, what right. kind of boyfriend is it going to be? You know, it's all those things. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. That's that's cool. I like that. I like exploring that. Let Let's take that thread with the the kind of thoughts, the uncertainties and stuff, and drift into your opinions on the market and everything else, and Brexit and finances. And in the world and economy and so on and so forth. What kind of feeling you got of the UK property market just now? Are we in a good place? Is it building? Is it going down? Is, what are you seeing I in think the streets? The, I think naturally there's going to be a, a, a switch from, so it's going to reverse itself. So back in the day, not that I was ever around, but back in the day it was never known to be owning a house, wasn't it? People mm. just pay the rent. Right. We've then, over the last 30, 40, 50 years, decided we're buying our properties now and stuff That's like right. that. But and the whole thing with the council stock get reduced and offered to buy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Change of mentality. I, I think it's going to change back the way. Right. I really do think that. I, th- right. I think the way forward is um, it's going to be it's going to be like paying a payment on a car. People are just going to... Family homes are a thing of the past. Like, not right. a thing of the past, but people move around a lot more now and there's, you know... Right, because I was wanting to know what you thought the drivers were to if that's your belief that's cool but what the drivers are to is it a financial one is it a, a style one is it a society one ah, I think is it that part st- of the stability the of the nomad? society yeah like right. the, the, there's no there's not like a a bowling club or a workings man club at the end right. of the, at the end of the village anymore that, and everybody works within the village and then ends up there at the weekend you know there's no that yeah. there's not the same sense of 
community. Again, right. I'm sounding like I've been here for on the planet for 150 years, but <laughs> um, I don't know. I just see it's mainly city based. You know, it's going to spread out from the cities, but mm. but th the renting culture I think is going to be big for the future. Ah, right, so that will piggyback off of that. The we, society itself adjusting. We, we see it in the European countries, don't we? They, yes. they, they've got a good big, um, you know rental villages and, yeah. and it's all funded by the councils and stuff and I just think it, like anything else we're behind the times here even though we're right, the leading. Right, so kind of following through. I think so and, and mm. I just see that being a, a part of the future, I really mm -hmm. do. Okay, the European angle, interested at all, not bothered, worried, fussed, how do you to see To be honest, it? it's went on. That's to from your business perspective, I, you know what I'm talking about. I, I can't see, I mean if there's a dip, there's a dip but I can't right. see any long term change right to be honest i think you see them as two separate things Aye, like i see scotland and property in the uk being very prosperous and mm -hmm. i think there's always going to be an interest there and you know we're not going to we're not going to downturn into the dark ages mm. i just think you know you could sit on your hands now and, and wait for it all to get better but yeah. to be honest it's just i've just it's been that long yeah you just need to get on with it you're don't just you? careering Aye. on yeah, yeah. And, and I'm not putting any of myself at risk naturally anyway. Yeah, so exactly. It's still being sensible one by uh, one by one. Yeah, yeah so, yeah. I mean, I don't... It's not... Touch wood. <laughs> it's not going to affect me. But yeah. I don't like to get involved in the politics of it all because, again, you'd be there all day. Yeah. And no one really knows. The politicians don't even they really don't know. They don't have a clue either. So why, why would we just assume or presume or... Uh -huh. One way or the other. Aye. Yeah, just carry on. Just no, as long good. as you're doing the thing for you today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my, that's my take of it. Good stuff. That's good. Right. So now let's dip into the fact I mentioned that obviously at the start of the show that uh, things have changed for you dramatically. It's just about crazy. But we're having a laugh before we started filming about how bonkers it is. You know, right. uh, we're we're catching up each other in fleeting moments, and then you're coming tomorrow. Obviously, there will be get together with the platinum clients and so on. Yeah. But you run off your feet in a good way. Things are going bonkers. How are you finding it? How are you feeling it? Why has it happened? You know, what's going on? Yeah, great. I mean, it's, it's kind of what I've been waiting for. Yeah. And, and it's taken its time to come through just through the natural progression of the, the whole compound effect and, and what we've been doing over the last year, I'd right. say, um, to get to this point. Right. And it landed It landed in my December where I was going to have a full December off and it landed like the second week of December. So there's, I got two days that, off that in December. There's that universe of gods talking to you again. <laughs> eh? What do you think this is going to happen, Paul? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> but just on top of everything else that was happening, you know, I, I left a gap in the diary for, for December and, you know, turned the phone off or put it on the answering machine and it just went nuts. And someone else it filled the gap. Hot, <laughs> aye, yeah. That but yeah, so, so where that come from, I think, is I, I kind of upped, upped things with regards to the marketing. Right. And uh, like I say, it, when, when we kind of closed, closed down the, the, the letting agency and, and moved away from that, um, it then allowed me to, to properly get involved and allocate my time and focus on certain things and it, it just it took that you know six seven months to right. to properly come into effect and then now that you're reaping the harvest yeah that's brilliant that's yeah. that's good to hear as well that kind of time frame as well because I was mentioning that to you earlier that people listening in maybe people that have just started their journey and they're just starting the market and they're getting things going yeah. they've got to have patience they've yeah. got to be just what you've done you've been consistent you've been productive that compound effect you're aware of that you know yeah. it's it's flat for so long and then there's this exponential you know surge in things so that's good to yeah. understand the marketing angles, are you focusing on particular things? Is it online, offline? Is it a mixture? Where are we there? There's a little mixture there. Um, mainly though, it's, uh, you know, flyers through doors. Right. And, and word of mouth. Mm -hmm. And I think my personal network now are seeing a bit more from me personally as opposed to the business before as well. Ah, right, so, okay. So my There's journey changed about two years yeah. ago. Eh? So, so, uh -huh. so when, we got, when we got involved in the mentorship and, and, and stuff and... I then I then made the decision that this is where I want to be and what I want to do. Right. Um, the first year of that too was, um, you know, kind of winding down, making the decisions about the letting agency and, yeah. and, and and breaking away from that. And then this year or 2019, sorry, was getting the decision, getting it done, getting across the line, mm -hmm. and then putting the new things into process. Right. Um, but I've seen, um, yeah, just your leaflets and you know everybody knows the marketing techniques but it's it's volume and it's consistency i think yeah. more than anything it doesn't matter what it is aye or exactly. it will matter what it is depending on where you are but the whole test and measure thing 
Decimation. Um, I've seen, you know, I was kissing a hell of a lot of frogs <laughs> with, without that without that prince at the end of it <laughs> on, on the social media. Um, but flyers is a different story for me. Right. But I know speaking to other people that it's the other way around. Sure. So it's sp specific on on area. I would, you know, and mm -hmm. but consistency and volume. Um, you need to spend a penny to, to make a pound essentially. To make a so, pound. Yeah. Um, that was that was the that was the change for me. Right. Yeah. And that's good. This is this is good golden nuggets for people to learn from. Where are we focusing? And what I mean is, you know, we both know property's huge. You know, service accommodations, Airbnbs, holiday lets, buy to lets, buy to flips, land, you name it, commercial to residential. Yeah. Where are you kind of focusing your energies? I want to build the asset, so buy to let, I think, is for me. It always right. has been. That Aye, was my very first. Background. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I can't see past that. Cool. Um, however, you can't obviously have everything as a buy to let. Mm -hmm. um, with the amount of projects that we've got on the go, there's obviously a shortfall in funding, so we're opting to flip mm -hmm. some of these that would be ideal buy to lets, but the right. ones with the bigger profits, we're choosing to flip them to Excellent. try and put all the money back in the back end. Brilliant. Um, and I sat, something I've done just recently actually, um, just two weeks ago, was I sat down with, I was always unclear about the focus and the milestones and the goals and where I wanted to be, you know, it was all really? a bit, it was all a bit too far for me to, to even imagine or, or like well, what actually do I want right you know I was always just like one do that one right next one do right you know what I mean and it's like right. I had a chat with, with a few guys and, and and I never used to look back like what have you done right I was never so ever one for part, I was never you? ever one for you know feeling proud of myself or seeing what I had accomplished yeah like I, I've never done that and I probably still don't do that however I've moved forward and I've I've set I've set the 10 year master plan and I've broken that down to a yearly, and I've broken that down to a quarterly. Brilliant. So I bought myself a big whiteboard. Oh, um, I love a whiteboard. See, all these techniques, <laughs> all these techniques and stuff, is all new to me. So I bought, uh -huh. I bought, I bought the, the whiteboard, and you know, I've, I've got it split into my quarters, and I've got my tallies in each quarter that I need to hit, and and I kind of like working that way. Yeah, you I like, kind of I, I like feel falling into I it. Like my right. tallies, and and but naturally, I like working that way, and 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 the. The organisation of the system. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how to get get it. Right. You know how to organise it. But when it's there, I love working to the process. Right. Gotcha. Um, so now that I've I've got there and I've done that, I, I could see you know the first you know six weeks of this year being really good already. You know, Brilliant. and I'm working to that and it's driving me on as well because I know what I've got to hit. Uh -huh. um, That's excellent. So yeah. is that something you would encourage people to do? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll say it, but. For me, for a long time, it was like, well, what, what actually do I want? What is it? What, what is it? But it just come, like you mm. know, and and I think you kind of are just plucking a figure out of thin air. Mm -hmm. But that figure needs, you know, it needs to be, it needs to be calculated and it needs to be thought about. Right. So pick the figure, and then see yourself in ten years or twenty years or whenever that may be, mm -hmm. and just see, well, would that, you know, is that what I want? Mm -hmm. And and that was, you know, that was what I done. It felt right. Yeah. As well. Yeah. So okay. I've kind of got three things that that, I'll, that I'm working towards, mm -hmm. um, and hopefully that will stand me in good stead. Tremendous. Where are we in ten years? Are we still here? Are you happy with your location? Are you, you know, are you, oh no, I'm going to make billions and I'm moving to California, whatever it is. You know, Where, not, where's the personal angle? Well, hopefully I'm still here. <laughs> hopefully the health gets me through to then. Um, I ten year takes me to forty five. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm. I'm considerably still a young man at that at yeah. that, that time. Um, I don't ever see myself retiring, to be honest, and, and I love I love this That's industry good and, 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 I, and like I don't that. ever see myself stepping away from it. However, I want to get to a point where I'm the guy that people are just phoning up to say, right, Jay, we've got this deal, Next. you want to come in? Mm -hmm. And then I'll, you know, I, I just, I, I'll, I think I'll always be involved in property. Right. Um, where I want to be though is I want to be um, in the warm, in the sun. <laughs> so same as everybody else. I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully have a, a holiday home somewhere. Right, you've know, you got that in your vision as well. And do three month spells or six month spells, probably not six month spells because the right. kids will still be schooling and stuff like that. So right. Again, I, I won't know until we get there, but yeah, uh, being abroad is mm -hmm. somewhere I want to be. Okay. Um, I want to be living in a big, eco-friendly, self-sustaining home, you know, um, self-built. Ah, you got that as well so in your working, head. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of 
that's really, you know, that's interesting. Su super modern, super efficient, self-sustaining, uh -huh. you know, zero carbon. Yep. Um, that's where I want to be and that's where I want to bring my family up and, that's you know, grow our own veg and stuff and, you know, and just, just not so much, I do want to give a bit back, but, uh -huh. but maybe not take as much. Right, is that from, the angle? From, you know, uh -huh. Mother Earth or, you know, and, and damage, because humans are shit, aren't they? We're just killing this. We've got a bad record. Aye, we've um, definitely got a bad record. So, aye, so give me a dog over a human any day. Um, <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of what I, I want to, that's I want interesting. to be. And bring my kids up that way as well, because uh -huh. going into the future, I think we all need to be a bit more aware of that. Yeah, awareness. There it is again. Ah, you're because you, that's funny that that's come up quite a lot as you've been talking. Yeah, your own awareness for each stage when you've been kind of looking from career to career. You know, I'm, I'm aware of my love of that. I'm going to try it, and you kind of head off. Your awareness of wait a minute, I've not planned long term. What what is it I want? I'm just chasing deal to deal to deal, becoming aware of that, and then adapting to it. And then that whole angle of aware of your, your part in the puzzle. Yeah. You know, the whole thing, the whole picture, the, the dad with the, the beautiful girls looking at their future, what we're up to as a planet, as a society, as a species, whatever. Yeah. There's a there's definitely a kind of awakening that you've yeah, been yeah. building up Absolutely, on. Absolutely. Yeah. As you've got is it just age? You're just kinda of growing, maturing and just these I think things so. Are, it's, I mean, my eyes have always moments. been open. Mm -hmm. Um and my opinions have always been strong. <laughs> <laughs> ask any of my fa friends or family on that one. But um <laughs> last year I'd done a lot a lot of I've done a lot of courses, I've done a lot of seminars, I've done mm. a lot of um, things that I would never normally have done. Really? Things that people don't know that I've d I done in um, with regards to seminars and the type of things that I've done and I'd get slated for here to <laughs> wherever. But um, it's just opening up and, you know, open your eyes to mm. to what is out there, what, you know, the bigger picture. Yeah. And, and that, was, that was last year for me. Mm. Um, Actually working on yourself, investing yeah. in yourself. Yes, Aye, absolutely. Tremendous, yeah. which is always the key, of course. Uh, that's that's fantastic. Right, let's jump into nitty gritty stuff. Let's jump into some projects, some things you're doing, some of the things you've maybe already got on you, under your belt. Uh, because what I'm thinking, I've got the I've got the viewers in mind, the listeners in mind, and they're outside. A lot of them aren't in this world yet. Or they're maybe just starting, you know, what can they achieve? What is possible? What are some of the profits they can get? And you're a brilliant example of this. And the reason I say that is you're just a, an ordinary, good, hard-working guy just getting on in life. Right, you're not some, oh, I, I, it's okay for him because, you know, his dad was a billionaire and, you know, he, he just, he sold a, a, a massive house down in Kent. That's how he got into property. You know, that's, that's a different scenario altogether. You're also working in the, the region, we know it, the kingdom, the kingdom of Fife, region of Scotland. It's not even one of the big cities. You know, it's not even that you're kind of ponytailed over in Edinburgh or you're over here in Glasgow. It's just an ordinary region, yeah. you know. It's not that you, oh, it's easy for Jay because he's living in London and see that last flippy done. You know, the house was, you know, £750,000, you know. It's not like that. It's more ordinary. It's more kind of believable, approachable, if you like, you know, that kind of aspect. So yeah. I think it's really key that you're here and we've got you in the spotlight for that. So what can you tell? What can you share? What's some of the scenarios you've been through so that people know what <coughs> they can expect and um, they can do? Okay, with regards to deals, Aye, yeah, so, exactly. so um, numbers wise, w we're no breaking banks here. Aye. Um, I've mentioned a few times um, I, I, there was a, a national survey done and it, and, it, and it resulted in, you know, um, the east of Scotland, so Fife in particular, having some of the cheapest housing stock in the UK. Mm -hmm. However, they returned some of the highest yields. The actual yields themselves, yeah. yeah. So, you know, Pound for pound for pound, it's 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 the best probably one of the best areas in in the UK to buy property. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're seeing it's not a thriving industry or mm -hmm. or place, you know, where I am. So we're seeing a lot of a lot of properties that should be a hell of a lot more uh, selling for for a little bit less. Right, um, and that that allows us to that allows us to to buy, you know, and and. And refinance, you know, the whole buy, refurb, refinance model. Right. Um, and we're doing that and we're getting our money out, you know, nine times out of ten Brilliant. Um, at that six month point. And on your portfolio side of things, have you got a certain criteria with cash flow every month, for example? Yeah, so, yep. so I mean, we're looking between three and four hundred pounds for me. 
Um, there I've just upped that a little bit there. Um, you know, I'm always conscious of the maintenance and I've just had to replace a roof that cost me um, seven grand plus for a, ro <laughs> for a roof on one of my flats. Oh, and, the joys. Uh, like that's, the, that's the bigger pot, you know, and you've got your short-term pot for your, need a washer in the tap or like, need to repaint a place and yeah, stuff like that. That's right, just um, keep them ticking over and uh, maintenance and so on and so yeah, forth. Yeah. I mean, 300 to 400, you know, people are listening going, what, is that possible? This is pretty cool. You know, yeah. a nice a nice wee income there, a nice yeah. wee cash flow there. And if they, for them to get that, if they're, you know, working with you, if they're able to hook in with you and invest in you, in your area, what's the property purchase price, for example, okay. to produce that? For, right, okay, so one of the latest ones I just got was, um, so a two-bed semi-detached house, Ex, ex local authority, two mm -hmm. bed, semi, we got that for, um, we got that for 53. Brilliant. Um, we put in that, what did we put in that? We redecorated the place, carpeted it throughout, and we'd done the garden. Mm -hmm. So I think I spent maybe 3,000. Right. Um, and then that refinanced, I know the area well, yeah. and I know it was a 75,000 pound house. Right. So we refinanced that at £75,000. Right. So I was in for 56 plus some fees, mm -hmm. 60 all in potentially, and then um, we refinanced that for 75. <laughs> so that was as good as all money out, that one. That's tremendous. Um, there's, there's a few people who just crashed their cars in it. I hope you realise it, you know. <laughs> they're they're kind of dead in England, especially the ones near London. Sorry, yeah. what was those numbers he just said to produce that cash flow and get my money back out? Yeah. Oh, my God. So that's, so that's zero money invested. You know, within <laughs> within six months, that's zero money invested yeah. and then cash flowing between three and four hundred pounds a month. Tremendous. So cash flowing is after all expenditure. So that's your mortgage payment off, um, your insurance, your letting agent and... Uh, any insurances, I think Probably. I covered that, and then your, your money in the bank, three to four hundred pounds. Yeah, um, it's a great game, isn't yeah. it? It's just, it's a great game to play yeah. on. Yeah, I just got, um, another recent one was a three bed semi-detached that come through my network. Mm -hmm. um, the ha house will value now at 110, but I picked it up for 80, mm -hmm. and that will, again, that will cash flow 400 plus, so, and that will be an all money out. Fantastic, um, and infinite return, infinite return as we love return. to say. Yeah, yeah. and well, I think I'm going to get that at the three month point due to um, a commercial buy to let product that right. I'm speaking to at the moment. So we'll get that a bit sooner than the, the typical six month return. Um, so yeah. That's so fantastic. And at the moment, uh, are you still able to take potential investors on, clients to work with you? Are yeah. you maxed out? So are you okay if someone gets in touch, for example? We just had another another confirmation last night. Right. Um, so we're going out to, to sign up another property. So I've got, I've got three lined up for the end of this month. Right. Um, I've got three lined up now for March, date to be confirmed. Oh, I'm going to make it as late as I can. But um, with everything we've got on the go, uh -huh. with what we've got lined up, I've now got got deals lined up for here. But but we're you know we're needing to sort out the funding for for, right. for, for this for gotcha. March, um, and that's before we get through February. Um, <laughs> the, the phone will be going just now. So um, I mean it's all good. Uh, it's difficult to. S well, I never say no mm. to, to these opportunities. Sure. Um, but yeah, the business right now, we're looking for um, one or two individuals to come on mm -hmm. um, and work with us. So it would be a, a hands off for them. Right. You know, that's good. Um, that's anyone good to with, know. you know, um, money in the bank earning, you know, 0.75%. I've seen the Bank of England oh, held, God, the, held the interest rate. That's right. Um, and inflation's what three? Exactly. So Do your the money, math. So your money's. How's your the money working out for you? Actually, depreciating in the bank. Exactly. So you know anyone that would want to make you know eight percent plus mm -hmm. on their money as opposed to negative two point two five. Yeah. On their money. That's a good comparison, actually, isn't it? Yeah. That's <laughs> a no-brainer. So the negative two to eight, <laughs> they've just made ten percent more on their money. Wow, that's, um, a, that's a brilliant point. Aye. So yeah, so we're open to, like I said, I'd like to speak with uh, or or bring on another one or two individuals yeah. that, that would work with us to and help us see if they fund these deals. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's brilliant. Um, Again, we've just made people crash, you know. <laughs> like, what? Sorry, what? I can earn what in my money? Uh, and if that's one of you, you know, get in touch with you. What to do is when it's safe for you to do so, you might be driving just now, go into the show notes on the page and all of the links are there that will take you through to Jay, to connect with him, to his businesses, websites, etc. Because, you know, if you are an investor but you've not got the time, you've maybe not got anywhere near the knowledge that he's got, 
there's an opportunity, you know, you can work with them, you know, reach out, apply for that position to see if you're able to do that. So use those links. But I've got another treat for you. We are now going to go out on the road because we've spoke about the numbers, we've spoke about some of the places uh, that Jay can buy and, you know, can be potential opportunities for you. But we want to now see them, we want to get some nitty gritty, we want to get under the hood. So we're going to drag this man out of this nice warm office and we're going to be travelling around a wee bit of the kingdom to show you. So you'll see exactly what we're talking about. We're going to take you into some of the places. Yep. You're going to show us how the projects are, guide us through how they look, what the plans are, etc. We'll maybe chat over some of the numbers as well. Yep. And you'll get to see some of the things that Jay has to put through his head each time he does it, you know, what does he have to think about? What's some of the challenges? What's some of the successes? How does he juggle the numbers, etc.? So let's go outside on the road. So what was, give us a past, what did you walk into with this one? There was a wall, as you can see with the roof, we're fair with taking the wall down. As soon as you've removed that, the space, the light, it feels absolutely brilliant. We've got the two current bedrooms, as you've said. We've got a big garden at the front. We've got big areas around the side as well and at the back. We've got a wee aquarium for the fish, which is excellent. <laughs> 